Hey everybody, Shadow Zack here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on YouTube and on Game Anyone about uh, how do I actually make my walkthroughs? Like, what I do, what I use more specifically should be the better question. Uh, so I figured I'd uh, just make a video showing. Uh, I pretty much use Fraps for like 99% of my game recordings. And uh, let's give a demonstration of what I do exactly. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, find a game. Average, average Joe looking to record a game. Launch Call of Duty. Zoom game. You can see up here in the top corner of my game window, I already have Fraps running. It shows up that it's running, it's working. Boundary shift. New players step in. It's a little slow because I'm actually recording like my desktop with uh, Camtasia as I play a game. Now you can see I'm in the game now. Doop -a doop. Then uh, you set up your fraps the way you want. I find uh, 30 FPS full screen best way to go if you're going to do commentary. You want to click this button here. If you're on Windows 7 or Vista, that it is. It'll record your mic as well. But uh, other than that, let's uh, minimize. Hit the record button for Fraps. F9. Recording Fraps. A bit laggy. I'm recording two things at once. But you get you get the general idea. Let me just finish this. So. so let's go ahead and stop that. As you see it went back to yellow. Close out our game. I'm playing in a window just so I can show you the game. But you know the window is already 720, so no worries there. But that's the important thing. If you're going to record in HD, you gotta do at least you know 1280 by 720 resolution. Or 1024 by 768 if you're playing a 4x3 game. But then, uh, load up Vegas. It's loading up on my other monitor. You can't see it, but, uh, if I could show you, I would. Still loading. Yeah, my shit runs slow when I'm recording. Let me just drag it over here. So, let's go find our Fraps folder. Movie, let's see, what do we just record? Single player game. And we just drag our clip into there. then you can do all your little fancy editing stuff. Some people like to put a sharpen filter. Uh, if you're trying to make it for GameAnyone.com, we, we prefer you have a watermark. So, you know, add a video track, insert text media. They're bringing this one over there. Com. About 18. You pick your font. You know, I like to pick fonts based on the game. So with this one, I'll pick, uh... Ooh, what's that? Where's that font at? A Call of Duty-looking font. Put an outline around it to give it some contrast between the light and dark colors. Pick a color I want. 
Call of Duty is kind of a greenish game, so then you transparent it. About a hundred's good. You uh, place it probably in the corner. Close that out. Stretch it to fit your thing. If you get like a really long video, depending on how you do it, if you divide your game up by chapters or you just do it in sections of 10 minutes, you know, you'd like, you know, drag a clip out to the 10 minute mark, hit the R button to make it region. This is so you can batch render more efficiently. Though you could probably make a script to do it. I'm not that good at it. But, uh, after you get your video all set up, you can just uh, render as or batch render depending on if you do multiple videos. And for this, I'll just uh, I'll use my render as. You can see the uh, I do mine in a Sony AVC format, custom. It's pretty much my template here: 12 by 8 by 720, 30 FPS, five and a half megabytes. Or, you know. Audio, blue de blue de blah, project. This is also an important step here if you're using Vegas. Uh, preview produces the best video rendering quality. Like, best and good. They uh, kind of blur the image a little bit. So, if you do preview, it uh, should get a nice, uh, cleaner looking image. Where you render. And then you just, you know, render out. Blah, blah, blah. Rendering. Now, I'm just going to hit cancel. Because, you know, you don't really need to see that all. Close this out. Don't want to save. But you're like, uh, what if you're playing a, an emulator game? Well, some uh, emulators. Let's see. This one. Uh, it's it's hit or miss with the emulator. Some of them will support the fraps. As you can see right there. And uh, but if you don't, if your emulator doesn't run well with fraps you uh I use a program called Camtasia to uh, record my screen which is what I'm actually doing right now but uh you can use it to record your uh screen desktop mode let's see select ooh it doesn't see that well Uh, oh god damn, this thing is finicky. You know, you hit the record button, which I'm not going to do because I'm already recording another thing. But this will record your thing. It's not. It's only recommended if you're playing in a window because uh, Camtasia kind of fucks up the like full screen application. So. You know. Yeah, so anyways, that's it. Uh, if you re if you record with Camtasia, you'll probably um, end up using Camtasia to uh, render out your videos. It's pretty much the same thing. You drag the shit to the timeline, edit out. You can, uh, There's an option when you're setting up your uh, render settings to add a watermark. You pretty much use an image. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I do. I hope that helps you youngsters out there looking to do walkthrough videos. Alrighty. Till next time. See ya.